Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando. I wanted to come out and try some of the Dr. Seuss and Grinch themed food items that they actually have going for Grinchmas and then also explore all of the holiday festivities that they're offering this year. I feel like I haven't really dove into a lot of the holidays here at Universal Studios, so I felt like today would be the perfect day. Anywho's, let's go do this. We're going to start off our day here at Islands of Adventure because we're going to want to try some of the amazing food items they have over in Seuss Landing. Some of these I've been wanting to try for a while and some of them are new I believe that I think I've never seen before. We're also going to ride some rides and try to catch the Grinchmas Who Holiday Spectacular and then hop over to Universal Studios side to see if we can watch the Macy Parade actually at 5.30. Seriously, it's one of the best themed areas over here for the holidays. I love everything and how it all has like garlands and it's super pretty at night. One of my favorite things is interacting with the Who's and also the Grinch. So hopefully we're going to be able to catch some of them as we explore around Seuss Landing. And we've just stumbled upon some of the Who's of Whoville. Oh! <laughs> It looks like the next show time for the Who Holiday Spectacular is at 3.45. So I think we're going to get something to eat first. Uh, and then we're going to get some snacks. And then meet the Grinch. And then watch the Who Holiday Celebration. And I feel like that's a fun little plan. One of the things that I've been really wanting to try is here at the Circus McGurkis Cafe. Because they have a roast beef sandwich with a little sandwich on top of it. And I seen it and I was like... I need to get this. It needs to happen. I noticed this sandwich the last time I was in here for the Orlando Informer meetup and I was like, I need to come back and try it because it looks so cool. And I love just being in here, it's so festive. Look at how amazing it is in here. And the Seuss trolley train actually comes in right here and goes all the way around. So maybe we'll end up doing that and kind of just have a fun Dr. Seuss themed day. Just for the holiday season, they have a roast beef sandwich. Well, it's a French onion soup dipped roast beef, meatloaf, secret sauce, cheddar cheese sauce, with a mini meatloaf sandwich on top of it. And I was like, okay, this seems like it was made just for me. Okay, I got the sandwich and I am super excited. It is a meatloaf roast beef sandwich with a tiny meatloaf sandwich on top. Like, I can't get over it. I can't even process how amazing that sounds. Just take a look at that. Isn't that so nifty? We got the little tiny meatloaf sandwich on top, the pretzel roll, then we've got some caramelized onions, some roast beef, and some meatloaf at the bottom there. They do uh, serve it with a cheese sauce, but I got the cheese sauce on the side and a secret sauce, and I'm just so excited to dive into this. I don't know if I should eat the whole sandwich with the little sandwich or if I should eat the little sandwich first. It's so pretty. I don't want to destroy it, but I'm going to take the pick out and then we're going to take the little tiny meatloaf sandwich and we're going to try the meatloaf sandwich first. Here we go. That's good. <laughs> okay. Now for the roast beef itself. And like, look at that. It is cooked so good, like a French onion dipped uh, roast beef sandwich. All right, so we're diving in here. Here we go. The best way to describe the little meatloaf sandwich is kind of like a uh, meatloaf grilled cheese. Because it's like just a little tiny grilled bread with meatloaf and cheese on there. And it's actually really good. But the roast beef sandwich is one of the best food items I've ever had at Universal Studios Orlando. I can wholeheartedly say that if this was on the menu year round, I probably would get it quite frequent because it is that good. And lots of roast beef and the meatloaf is the bottom layer right there. So, so good. Oh, take a look at that. There goes the Seuss trolley train coming through the restaurant. I love it. That is so cool. It's one of my all time favorite rides. Hi friends. Look at that. <laughs> This is such a fun little ride. It's like the universal people mover. Hi! I also love the fact that it's served on a pretzel roll. Like, like so many amazing ingredients to this sandwich. Everything that I love. I love pretzel rolls, I love roast beef, I love onions, I love meatloaf. 
and putting it all together in like a double decker sandwich it really did it is really that good now that the meatloaf and roast beef sandwich business is taken care of i think it's time we go meet the grinch not this grinch right here but the one that's actually gonna probably make fun of us the Grinch has a very long line for people to actually go meet him. And honestly, I think it's worth it. I would probably wait a good solid 45 to 60 minutes to meet the Grinch because it's so entertaining and so memorable. The best thing is, is as you're waiting in line to meet the Grinch, you have all of your favorite Dr. Seuss characters out here and they kind of put on a little show. Got the cat in the hat, you got thing one, thing two, the Lorax, and Sam. Oh. What can I help you with today, huh? Well, I just want to say hi. You, you know, keep, you came all the way to say hi. Yeah, literally, I came purposely here today to come see you. Well, what a letdown! It's only about midday. Now everything's gonna go downhill, huh? Yeah, probably. You're the highlight of the day. Oh, great! I'm the highlight. Thanks, Veronica, for bringing him. Yeah. So how can I make this situation go away, huh? Uh, I guess just a photo. Oh, just a photo? Yeah. I mean, it. So if I give you a photo, you'll go away. Yes. Really? Yeah. You promise? Yes. Shake on it. Shake on it. All right. Wait here. <laughs> Where's he going? <laughs> Wait, you won't hurt him. Here's your photo. Oh, yeah, thank you. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is, this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> oh, like, oh, all right, I'm gonna get a photo. Gotcha. No, <laughs> <it's a trial. laughs> you know, you things the right way, and you just have to get up. Let's get this done. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, selfie photo. Yep. All right. Okay, the Grinch is everything. Hands down, the best meet and greet ever. He is so interactive and so amazing. I love it so much. I was in there, I was at, I'm actually hanging out with Veronica. And Veronica, he actually had her like open the door and scream at all of the other performers outside to be quiet. I wish I caught that on film, but I was actually shooting for her like camera and it was hysterical. And then he came over and he tried to give me a picture to go away. And I thought, honestly, it's just so amazing. They're the best. Now it's time we actually head on over to the Grinchmas Who Holiday Spectacular. It's 3.45 and they say to be about a half an hour early. So we're about 30 minutes early and we'll see uh, if we get good seats for this. I'm excited. I've actually never done this before. This is going to be the first time. First timer here. It's also really nifty to be back here at what used to be Nickelodeon Studios and you can still smell the slime running through the sewers. I am very excited to actually do the Grinchmas uh, Who Holiday Spectacular because we just got done with Grinch and it was such a memorable meet and greet. Like I'm gonna remember that forever and now we're gonna actually enjoy a little like show with the Grinch. I'm loving the music already though. Ooh. Have some party, straight to door number two, please. Have some party, number two. Look at how pretty it is in here. And we're going to number two. A friend of mine told me to sit to the far right so we can get a good look at Max. So uh, we actually got really good seats. And like I said, we got here just about 30 minutes, 30 minutes before the show started. And it's actually really, really awesome. Orlando invites you to open your heart and enjoy the Grinchmas Holiday Spectacular.
that noise, 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 noise! Curse that Christmas music! It's joyful and triumphant! The Grinch hated Christmas. It could be that his head wasn't screwed on quite right. It could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight. But I think the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was too sizes too small. Ah, Popa! exclaimed the Grinch, staring down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the warm lighted windows below in their town. For he knew that every hoop down in Google beneath was busy now. Hanging the mistletoe wreath. And they're uh, hanging their stocking. He snarled with a sneer. <gasps> Tomato's kiss. such a good show. I really love the production value in that. Absolutely amazing. The Grinch was fantastic, but the star of the show was definitely Max. Max was the star of the show, and I think everybody can agree on that. Now it's time I think we get ourselves a Grinch hot chocolate bomb and also some Grinch sugar cookies. I'm just really all about the Grinch today, and I can't wait to do the hot chocolate bomb. I've really never done one before, and this one looks super cool. This seems like it's gonna be so fun. And I'm excited to try the Grinch uh, cookies too. They do actually have like an ice cream sandwich, but I think that's just a little too much. And I think you get three cookies and you can get the uh, hot chocolate bomb on its own. But I don't know why you would get the hot cocoa bomb a la carte. Like why would you just get that? Do you know what I mean? It kind of goes in the, it goes in the hot chocolate. Here is the hot chocolate. That looks so creamy and delicious, holy moly. And I guess we're just gonna drop the bomb in there. I'm gonna see what, I mean, just gonna put it in. Here we go. Uh oh. It's not doing much. I think I needed to, like, get. Oh, wait. Uh oh. <laughs> Look at it sinking down in there. This is really interesting. I think I did something wrong. Well, I think that's about it. It does look cool but I'm not sure if I was supposed to push it down. 
I feel like this is gonna be super chocolatey. Inside the Grinch uh, hot like cocoa bomb was a bunch of marshmallows, and I like how it turned uh, the hot chocolate a little bit green. But now we're gonna try it. Wow, that is very chocolatey hot chocolate. It's very delicious though. Oh, I do like it. I think I like hot butter beer a little bit better though, to be honest. I mean, this is really good though. This is a great hot chocolate, but can't beat hot butter beer. But you can't judge hot cocoa without actually having a cookie to eat it with. So we're gonna try the Grinch sugar cookie here. Oh, they're very soft. Look at this. This would go over here. The cookies are amazing. <laughs> Honestly, the cookies are better than the hot chocolate, I feel like. So soft, so delicious. Wow. The question is though, is how's the combo together? That's what we need to know. Take a little bite of a cookie. Mm-hmm. Hot. <laughs> Now that we've got the Grinch business out of the way, I think it's time to head on over to uh, Hogsmeade. I want to maybe get ourselves a beer and take a ride on Hagrid's motorbike adventure. I mean, that would be fun. I mean, when you're here at Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure, I always kind of try to want to squeeze in one ride. Before we actually get into Hogsmeade, I want to stop at the All Hallows Holiday Boutique. And this is a perfect combination of Halloween and Christmas. I mean, other than Nightmare Before Christmas, or you could kind of say it's like a perfect Halloween who holiday, like, mish, mashup, and I love it. I'm pretty sure this actually started out just as a Halloween boutique, but then they added all of the fancy Christmas lights and trees in here, and it is just so beautiful. Look at this. It is so nifty in here. <laughs> I love all the decorations. I kind of wish this was my bedroom. In the far back of the store, they have a nice little photo opportunity with a little fireplace and mantle, and then some Christmas trees and some trick-or-treaters. So like, there's a lot happening here, and I really love everything. Oh, I think we just saw a hidden Mickey right there, maybe. But this is really, really awesome. I, I like it a lot. I'm so happy we actually ended up going in there because that was so beautiful. But we need to move along and head into Hogsmeade and maybe we'll ride Hagrid's like I said. Depending on the wait time though, let's see how long it is. If you've ever visited Universal Studios for the holidays, what section of the park do you like the most for the holiday season? Like I love Hogsmeade because of the snow, but this is mostly always here. They just add the lights to it and it kind of just makes it really pretty over here. And they also have over on Universal side for Diagon Alley, but I mean, which one is your favorite? Do you like Diagon Alley or do you like Hogsmeade? But first we need to stop at Hogshead and grab ourselves a drink. I love coming here, it's so much fun. And it's my favorite place to get a beer. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna get this time though, because sometimes I like to mix it up a little bit. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I decided on grabbing a Deathly Hollows, which is my favorite uh, drink here and it's a uh, strong bow at the bottom hogs meat and Guinness on top It used to be a little bit layered like a lot better except for I think they changed the uh, strong bow So it doesn't actually separate like three times. It kind of just looks like twice, but it's still very delicious I ran into a friend Sydney and it's it's her birthday. So uh, happy birthday Sydney and cheers cheers <laughs> Coming out the back of Hogshead, you actually get to come back here and just watch the Velocicoaster actually take off. And I'm loving how the sun is starting to set and you can see people actually just hanging on for dear life. I'm gonna try to zoom in and catch it. Honestly, love that ride and being up there right now during a sunset would be amazing, but I think we're gonna go ride Hagrid's 
and now it is officially dark outside the ride ended up actually going down and uh, it was a very long time wait in there but now it's officially dark out and I think we missed the Macy parade we're not gonna be able to make it over to Universal side so instead we'll see if there is any holiday offerings over here I do know they do a castle like projection show for the holidays I'd like to see that if we could it looks like the castle projection show is at 620 so we're gonna have uh, just about 10 minutes standing here isn't it so weird that it's getting dark out at like 5 30 and 6 o'clock i feel so awkward sometimes because i don't know what time of the day it is so we're gonna wait for the next show but look at how beautiful it is here i love it i love all the lights too it's absolutely amazing Ooh, there's a star in the sky there and a spotlight projection show was really really awesome it's kind of strange though they started closing the park at seven o'clock and I, I, I just remember the parks being open much later so the park is officially closed but we're gonna walk out through Seuss Landing so I can show you all of like Seuss Landing all lit up and pretty like I was talking about before with all the Christmas decorations and just make a slow exit out of the park look at how beautiful it is over here all lit up this is what I was talking about and they're actually doing fireworks over there for the cinematic spectacular so it's kind of pretty to see that as well but i love it i love being here right now it's actually really really awesome and the fireworks are really going to town cats hats and things cats hats and things and christmas lights oh i also like the christmas music they play in here too but this is what i was talking about is like honestly it's so pretty I think, uh, like I said, it's the end of the night now. I mean, I had a lot of fun coming out and checking out the holidays. I wish I had a little bit more time. So next time, maybe I'll come earlier. You know what I mean? Like, knowing the fact that the park closes at 7 o'clock, I should have looked first. But sometimes you kind of just go to the park, especially when you're, like, living close. You just kind of like, oh, I'm just going to go to the park. So you never really check the time. So that's my mistake. But anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye! As we're making our way out of Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure, look at the nice little uh, snowflake stage they got in the middle here. 
<laughs> Nightly City Walk Promadon. Dining, dancing, cocktails, snowflakes.